today is June the 10th, and I am so glad that you're a part of the Daily Family. I hope you're getting a hold of these this month. We're talking about focus. I hope you grab my ebook on focus. And while you're there, there's a lot of resources to help you be everything God created you to be. See, you are, you're dominated by what you choose to think about. That's why we've been talking the last few days about my Mindset Matters Masterclass, which is available. Just click that link, grab a hold of it. Uh, I promise you that'll be a great investment because so much of what happens in our life happens right here in our head. Uh, maybe that explains why advertisers spend billions of dollars telling us the same thing over and over and over again. These marketers want to uh, get you in the habit of thinking about their products, and they develop the habit of thinking through repetition. They develop that habit it just over and over. They, they show you the images over and over. They whisper the slogan. I mean, you don't think your mind's powerful. Think about during the Super Bowl, how many millions of dollars an advertiser spends just to get inside your head for 30 seconds. That should make you feel a little bit better about yourself. As time marches on, you'll think uh, like they want you to think, and you will go looking for their products, and you'll find yourself pretty soon in need of them. Focus is the natural result of what you think about, and what you think about is created by repetition. So through repetition, you can change your thinking, and you can change your thinking. If you can do that, well, then you can change your focus, Focus is the key to success in everything you will ever set out to do. Unfortunately, the average person is inclined to be uh, busy rather than effective and to be stretched to the limits rather than focused. That's where the power of no comes in, which is a whole nother lesson we could teach you sometime. But the fast pace of our modern culture seems to feed this natural frenzy. As a society, we're people who worship at the shrine of busyness rather than the shrine of effectiveness. We are a society that is given to diversification of activity rather than specialization. We're a culture that uh, uh, we like variety over similarity and multiplicity over simplicity. And somehow we've conditioned ourselves to believe that focus is bad because it's restrictive and that concentration is dangerous because it's limiting. But our infatuation with being broad has caused us to become mediocre. And instead of being great at one thing, we are now content to be mediocre at a dozen things. And so we wonder why we fall short of our goals and, and, fall, and, and fail to achieve the great things that we desire to achieve in life. So this entire month, I'm talking to you about focus because focus is the catalyst for success. Make sure you like and follow and make sure you share this with someone else. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. Subscribe so we can stay connected.